All right, what is going on guys? So today in this video, I have some exciting news. I finally updated my program, STIE, which is SHSH Device Information Extractor. And if you don't know what that is, um, you can watch my previous video. I did a tutorial on how to use it and how to install it. I finally coded it for Mac OS. You don't have to install a Windows virtual machine. It's right off the box. It's coded for it. It's optimized. You don't need to compile anything. Uh, Libium old device is already compiled in the folder. So you don't need to worry about that. And I'm sorry, I am in fact, see my hands are right here. I'm not recording the screen because this Mac is old and if I do, it lags so much. Bear with me. Uh, I'll try to make it as good as I can, but I hope it doesn't bother too many of you. you. You can still read the text, you can still do everything, so I hope it's not a problem for any of you. But I gotta work with what I can, so. And without further ado, let's begin. So, download the file below and extract it to your desktop or anywhere, it doesn't really matter. And uh, open terminal, and then just type in CD. And then just drag in your folder and then click enter. And once you do that, you need to plug in your device. As you can see here, I actually have uh, an old 6S. As you can see, it is on 13.1.2. And yes, I know I'm using a 6S, but this does work on A13 actually. I tested it on my brother's 11 Pro Max and it worked perfectly. Um, there's no problem, so it's fully updated. And let's start. So once you see it into the directory, connect your iPhone. And then I'm gonna just leave it here just to show you how it works. So I'm gonna just put this to the side. Doesn't matter if your device is in a home screen or in an app because it will go to recover mode anyway. There, I zoomed it in a little so you guys can see better. But once that's ready, all you gotta do is just type in dot slash STIE and then just click enter. Just wait for it. And there you go. So telling device with DJ ID to enter recovery mode. Device is successfully switching to recover mode. And this is important right here. Wait for device to enter recovery, then click enter on your keyboard. So if I just pop up, you can just exit out of it, it doesn't really matter. So go back in terminal, click back into your terminal. And yeah, just do what it says, click the enter key. And it will automatically reboot. And over here it says extracted values are saved in A5 through A13 output.txt. So you can just exit out of this and put the phone aside. And then you can open the folder that you downloaded. And inside it, there will be A5 through A13 output.txt. So open it. And you will have your information that you need right here. So let's take a closer look. As you can see, it's actually really important info. It tells you what uh, each of these mean. It says the unique device ID is the UDID. So this right here would be your UDID. This right here is the ECID. And it's important because when you use this program, you're obviously most likely using it to save blobs. And what you got to know is if you use one Conan's TSS saver, one more important thing is that the ECID is shown as a decimal value. When it tells you to type in your ECID, make sure to click like an arrow on the side that says hex iTunes and change it to DEC UDID calculator slash iDevice info. So yeah, don't get confused because if you leave it on hex iTunes, it won't work. This is not a hex number. This is a decimal number. And continuing on, you have your nonce, which is your AP nonce. And you have your hardware model, which is your board configuration, and your product type, which is your model identifier. So yeah, it's just some information needed to save blobs. And that's pretty much it. If you guys want to view the source code, the link is right here. Or if you're lazy, you can just drag in SDIE to uh, text edit, and you can view the code here. And one interesting thing, actually, uh, the code is 35 lines. And for the Windows version, it's actually the exact same thing. It's 35 lines. I managed to make them the exact same line size. So this proves that Linux Bash and Microsoft Batch, to an extent, is sort of the same thing. I mean, clearly right here. <laughs> and it's pretty much the same exact technique that I use on my Windows. It's just a matter of finding strings and then just implementing them, really. It's not like actual code. <laughs> it's just making shortcuts. I mean, anyone can just download Libby Mobile Device and iRecovery and just type in the commands manually. But this is just made to make it a little bit easier and for the people who are lazy. And one more important thing, this folder right here, tools folder. If anything happens, the say the program messes up and you need to exit out of recovery, you do the same thing. You just open up terminal and then just type in CD and then just drag in the tools, click enter, dot slash, and then whatever you want to do. You just put in exit recovery and then enter. And then as you can see, it boots you up. So yeah, I did leave some emergency tools just in case stuff did get messed up. And that's pretty much it guys, that's really the whole video. Again, download links and source code will be in the description if you're wondering. I really hope you enjoyed the video guys. Um, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. And subscribe. Peace.